Listen to part of a conversation between a student and a professor. Professor Miller, could I please talk to you for a minute? Hello, Tracy. Certainly you can. How can I help you? I need some advice on the Poetry Slam workshop you mentioned in class the other day. And, I remember you said that, the workshops are free and open to all students currently enrolled at a university. Yes, I did. Are you planning to enter the Poetry Slam competition that will be held in September? No, I am not. Well, at least not at the moment. I haven't decided on anything yet, but I was thinking about participating in the workshops. Okay, I assume that you are aware that, attending at least one poetry stand is part of the requirements of the workshop. Not everyone has to participate in the Poetry Slam competition. But attending a poetry stand is recommended. Hmm, what do you mean? Aren't Poetry Stand and Poetry Slam basically the same thing? Not quite. The two are somewhat different. A poetry stand is a form of public speaking, where participants present their prepared materials to a live audience. It's rather traditional and conventional in a sense, which lacks some of the elements that a poetry slam has. Then, how is a poetry slam different from a poetry stand? A poetry slam is a competitive performance poetry event, where you have judges rating the performance, usually on a scale from 0 to 10, based on the participant's performance and the content of the poem. There will often be several rounds, and even time limits that will get contestants eliminated, when they don't satisfy the audience's expectations. So, there is also audience participation, where the audience's applause plays a very important part. So, I guess a poetry slam is more like a competition? Ah, uh, that's right. And that's the reason why many attend the workshops before they participate in the competition. I see. Um, I have a question, Professor. You said there are rounds and time limits in a poetry slam. How much time does each person get? Each poet gets three minutes, plus a ten-second grace period, to recite one poem. If the poet goes over time, points may be deducted. The poet will lose five points off, of his or her score, for every ten seconds he or she goes over. This is part of the basic poetry slam rules, and we will go over this on the first day of the workshop. I got it. I was expecting there will be some sort of rules, since it is a competition. Now I'm very interested in signing up for the workshop, and can't wait to learn more about Poetry Slam. That is great. Oh, I do have one more question. Are poets in the competition allowed to use music, or props in their performance? Normally, poets are not allowed to use props, costumes, music, or pre-recorded tapes while performing. But this is not always true. At a themed poetry slam, they are usually allowed, as there is an overall topic the poets have to express in their poems. Themed poetry slam? I didn't know there was such a thing. This again, we will cover in the workshop. I really hope so. Thank you, Professor. Question 10. Which of these statements about the student is true? Question 11. How is a poetry slam different from a poetry stand? Question 12. According to the professor, what is true about a themed poetry slam?